Uh, another favorite recipe of mine is a warm baby potato salad. Uh, different types, different varieties of potatoes are becoming uh, more common, available. You, um, you want to get the B size or baby size because they're, they're just a lot uh, easier to work with. They cook faster and they have a little bit sweeter taste. What I have here is uh, a red, a Yukon Gold, and a purple baby potato. And as you can see, uh, cut, cutting into them, the purple potato is purple. The Yukon Gold is yellow, and the, the red skin is red skin. Uh, these potatoes have been parboiled. Uh, I blanched them real quick. Um, just until they were tender, then I cooled them. You do not want to shock your potatoes in cold water to stop the cooking. You want to cook them until they're almost done and then just let them air uh, cool. That way they'll come out perfect. When you shock them in water, they absorb more of the water. And then when you go to cook with them, your potatoes have more uh, water content in them. It's not, not a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these uh, into quarters. We're going to put those in with the rest that have already been cut. And I'm going to take those in. I have a pan here that has some rendered bacon in it. Uh, all I did was dice the bacon and uh, then uh, real low heat rendered it to uh, crisp it up and get the fat. I'm going to keep the fat for my recipe here. I'm going to go ahead and dump the potatoes in that rendered bacon. Stick that back on a very low heat. Uh, I'm going to dice some herbs. What I have here is some fresh dill, uh, some fresh chives, uh, basil, and parsley. And um, you do not want to use the, the stem of these herbs um, because the stem gets bitter, uh, except for cilantro. Cilantro is one of the only herbs that has a, uh, the whole part of the plant is edible and the, the stems are not bitter, have, have all this, the same flavor. Uh, so I'm just going to pick the, the larger parts of the stem out. Uh, where, the, where the leaves are, the stem is, not, is okay to use. We're just going to pick that real quick and then we're going we're to chop it up. And Since I'm going to mix all these together, I'm going to just chop all my herbs together uh, with the exception of the basil and I'll explain that in just a minute. Um, why? Of course the chives uh, you don't have to pick anything, you just use them as is. Those are great. Parsley, again, you want to just pick the leaves off of the stem. Um, we're going to put those that right in with the, the uh, dill. Okay, real quick, I'm going to cut the chives. I'm, I'm going to keep them in nice little... Uh, when you're dicing, uh, you want to try and make them all the same size dices. So what I'm doing is, real quick, I got my chives together. I'm going to cut them up keep them. I got my, my uh, dill and parsley. I'm going to chop them. What we want for this potato salad is we want a, a small to medium uh, chop. We don't want it too fine because the, they'll, they'll lose. We want to have the full flavor and the texture of the, of the fresh herbs. So we're going to go ahead and put, put that in. Now the reason we didn't do the basil is because basil, when it after you're chopping it, it bruises and turns real dark. So what I'm doing with the basil is I'm picking the, the leaves, trying to uh, arrange them in so that they're kind of the same size. So we'll pick those leaves. We're going to lay them out in a in a little stack here. I'm going to kind of roll up the stack, nice and tight. Again. Got a good sharp knife. We're gonna go ahead and cut this uh, kind of a, a what we call a chiffonade. And we have a nice, uh, real fine um, chiffonade of uh, the basil. Now we're gonna take all those herbs and we're gonna put them in our, our bowl here. We'll, we'll toss at the last minute. Celery. Again, just cut off the, the ends uh, where they might be a little dried out. I'm going to cut it into some lengths here. 
And then we want a real fine dice. We don't want it to take up, uh, we don't want it to be too, too big. We're primarily, we get a little bit of the flavor from the celery and we get a nice texture, a nice crunch. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting this celery stalk into a strips or, or julienne, lining them all up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get a real fine dice. Go ahead and we're going to just drop those in our, our bowl here. Hey, get some onions here. We got already diced. We'll put those in. Some, uh, I'm using uh, white balsamic vinegar. It, it's uh, very uh, sweet. Uh, it's got a sweetness about it. Um, works really well for any recipe that, that calls for a white vinegar. All right, now after you uh, cook that you, on the stove for just a couple of minutes, not long at all, as you see here, I'm, I'm just uh, kind of mixing it up a little bit. I'm gonna dump in my, my herbs that are already chopped and I'm gonna very carefully measure out my liquids. Very, very carefully measured. Precision, it's all about precision. So I've got a little bit of white balsamic vinegar, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter cup. Got about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. You can see the precision I use in measuring. Kosher salt, always kosher. And crack back pepper. Uh, the pepper mill is probably by far one of the greatest inventions for the kitchen. If you have ground pepper, throw it in the trash. Invest in a pepper mill. You can pepper. You can get a pepper mill for anywhere from five to a hundred dollars. This happens to be one of the good ones. This is a Peugeot, um, but it, it's great. And I've always got fresh cracked pepper at my fingertips, and I love pepper. I love pepper, I eat lots and lots. So we're gonna go ahead and put our cracked pepper in there. We're gonna mix it up a little bit more. And there we have our warm potato salad.